Welcome back to Looks Good On Me channel. I'm here at Interlaced, uh, which is an event about wearable technology. And I'm here with Christina, who is the co-founder of Interlaced. And um, i just like to ask her a few questions. So what is Interlaced all about? So Interlaced is a media and event company focused around communicating the latest developments in fashion and technology through events, news content, different educational activities. And what we try to do is open up the conversation around the next wave of fashion, not only to the startups and the big companies, but also to the academic institutions, the researchers, the emerging talent and the wider public. And this is our first uh, event that we are hosting as an organization. It's a really, really cool event. Uh, we'll go and explore it a bit further. Uh, what I wanted to touch upon is that you collaborate really, really closely with fashion bloggers as well, right? Yes, we did. Absolutely. Uh, we're actually the, we have two parts of the event. One of them is a conference program and another one, the second one is a fashion technology show. And uh, we collaborated with bloggers to um, get the word out about fashion technology and educate their readers about that this thing is all happening and that is exciting and that they should know about. Uh, and then also we've selected a few of them to walk down the runway with fashion tech pieces today. So it's going to be really exciting for us and for them, I hope. Oh, I'm really excited to see the fashion show. I think it's going to be amazing. What are your plans for the future? So right now, well deserved rest. <laughs> because as you've seen, we haven't slept a lot. Um, but uh, after that, we're going to reevaluate, see the feedback from everyone that attended today. Um, we also have a few other events that we're participating, like curating panels and giving talks. Um, and also um, a few universities interested in kind of having us to, um, to talk about the future of fashion and technology. Uh, and hopefully hosting another event like this next year. Yeah, I'm really excited. Thank you so much for, uh, for your time. And and guys, let's go and explore what uh, Interlace is all about. Thanks. Hi, I'm here with Leo, who is the founder of Formed by Time and it's a smart jewelry um, company brand and um, I'd like to ask him a few questions. So how did you come up with the idea for the brand? Um, I built robots for the last couple of 15, uh, last 15 years as an artist and grew up in a goldsmith family so I decided to kind of mix it up together yeah. and build this new kind of jewelry. How exactly does it work? Can you walk us a little bit through the process? Just show one. Oh. This is the piece here on the back side. We have the microcontroller, the battery, and the charger. And basically, all you on the, on the switch, you can turn it on and off here, or use your uh, smartphone to control it or pre-configure it. So you can. It's connected to your iPhone or uh, Android. Android or iPhone, and uh, you can activate the modus where it kind of notifies you when you get a call or a message and. Oh wow, so it actually kind of talks with you even? Yeah, yeah. If, if, you, if you want to, you can. But I, I prefer just to move it like... It looks really cool, I really like it. Thanks a lot. Cool, thank you so much, Leo, um, for the demonstration. Um, that's really exciting, right? Like, what's going on, what's happening in the world of wearable fashion tech. Um, what do you think, guys, would, would you like to wear uh, this kind of uh, jewelry pieces? Um, leave it in the comment and let me know what you think, okay? Oh my God, look at what I found. Uh, we are just um, about to start the fashion show and this gorgeous dress is so beautiful. It was a collaboration between Miranda, Rebecca and Peter and they're going to tell us a little bit more about um, the dress. Hi, yeah, okay, so this is a really unique project that we put together for House of Fraser and the TV BAFTAs. So, um, I'm a creative producer and I um, was working with an agency and Rebecca Street here is um, an amazing fashion designer and was also Alexander McQueen's ex-pattern cutter. And then Peter here is a representative of SEPA. SEPA are one of the prominent people in innovation, tech and sensitive environments. And so what we did here is we 
we did something new for um, retail and for spectacle and something new for the red carpet and the wonderful Donna Eyre wore it um, originally which was really really fantastic and then our beautiful Claudia here is um, wearing it for us at Interlaced and we're really excited. It looks so amazing. How long did it take um, to create the dress from inception to how it looks now? It took uh, around two months, I think, in, from beginning to end, from concept to original conversations, to concept, to twirling, to meetings, conversations, the whole thing, about two months in total. I can imagine it taking quite a while. And Peter, you helped with um, the electrics, the text out of it. Electronics, sorry, the underlying electronics that are inside the dress. Um, and Sipa also uh, pioneered some of the programming um, and some of the effects that you see here. Um, what we wanted to try and do is make something interactive and sort of immersive so it actually involves people uh, and the audience and also the wearer. It definitely involves me because I'm like, I can't take my eyes off it. And you mentioned that it's going to be on the red carpet. Oh, well, it's already been on the red carpet for the TV BAFTAs in May. That's where Donna Air wore it. But I just wanted to pick up on what Peter was saying about the interactivity of the dress. So this part of the dress is actually, um, not right now, but it's, um, it's a responsive element. So it has, if, if our model Claudia walks around or moves in a certain way, it lights up and it changes its effect pattern, which is what looks like this. And then the cocoon um, structure here is something that we wanted to play with as an alternative to a screen. Because a lot of tech wearables are talking about screens or like working in the, in the realm of screens. We wanted to try and take it into a more elementary, sensitive environment. So maybe... Yeah. It looks yeah, it's really cool. Would you want to say something about it? I should say we wanted to go... I wanted to work with the LEDs um, and... The, and sculpting or something rather than just having, yes, using a flat screen, but also having a screen that just hangs. We wanted to actually make it sculptural work with the LEDs rather, yeah. Yeah, it looks really nice and it also looks very elegant. Like that's, you don't always find that in um, fashion tech, wearable fashion. Um, thank you so much, guys. It's really a pleasure and I, I can't wait to see the fashion show. Thanks.